today I'm going to show you some of the basics on how to use the new Ice Age Trail interactive web map. It works on both website and also mobile devices. On your mobile device, due to the smaller screen size, it'll look similar, just a little different. Some of the tools that are available up here you might not see initially, but there will be a button that you can click here and it'll show you the rest of the tools. So let's get started. Uh, to navigate, you can use your scroll on your mouse to zoom in and out. Alternatively, you can also use the plus and minus buttons up here. As you can see, as we're zooming in, more and more features are appearing. If you click and drag, that will allow you to pan. This button here will take you to your location. So if you click that, it'll show that here I am in Cross Plains, um, pretty close to our office. If I want to go back to where I was previously, um, one of my favorite buttons is this previous extent. So it'll take me back to the Devil's Lake area and you could keep clicking it to get back there. There we go. Or if you want to go back to Cross Plains, you can hit your next extent and it'll take you there. Um, to turn off the My Location, just click that button again. To get back out to the full overview button, you just click the home button and that'll take you back out to where we started. Now let's zoom in over here by the Manitowoc area. You'll see the first button here is your legend button. So if you click that, pretty self-explanatory, shows you what's on the map. The legend only shows what's currently displaying the map. So if you zoom out, you'll see you have less features in your legend. As, as you zoom in, they appear. We'll close that legend out. And let's zoom in here a little farther. So, so there's different features along the trail here. Um, the stars are trail communities. So if you click on that, it tells you this is Manitowoc Trail Community. You have a link to our trail community web page here. It'll take you to our website and shows you the different things you can do in our trail communities, the attractions, different events, and so forth. You can also click on the parking to see this is parking for the Mariner's Trail. And if you see right here, it says one of two. So that means that I clicked on two items. So let's see the other thing that we clicked on. If you click this arrow is the trail segment. So this is the city of Manitowoc trail segment. The entire segment is 7.3 miles. And this will take you back to your first item. The second button here is your layer list. The items that are checked are the the items that are appearing in your map. So right now we don't have cold cache sites turned on. So let's say I'm interested in checking out where the cold cache sites are. So we simply check that box. And you'll see that some of them appeared here. If you're not sure what the legend is, instead of going back to the legend list, you can also click this arrow here and it'll show you what the symbol is for that site. This button over here allows you to change um, the drawing order, set a transparency on the symbol. So for example, the layers that are on top will draw on top of the ones that are below it. So if you want cold cache sites below a different layer, you click move down. Fortunately, it's a little clunky. You need to click it a number of times to get it to where you would want it to go. The next tool here is your base map gallery. So by default, it's a topographic map that's on. If you want the aerial photo, you could click on the imagery and see what it looks like. We'll go back to the topo map for the time being. There is also this little arrow here will show you an overview map. So if you're not sure exactly where in the state you are, you can see the area shown on the screen is highlighted by this gray box. So if you zoom out, the overview map changes with you. Okay, one tool that I think is just really great is the search tool here. So this tool will search our layers, it'll search geographic features. Um, so for example, if I type in 
West Bend. You could see here under Ice Age Trail, it found the segment, that's West Bend segment. It also found the city. So let's say I want to go to the city. It'll take me there. Uh, let's say I wanted to see where the segment was. And here's the West Bend Trail segment. And you can see that it's highlighted. The entire segment is 6.7 miles long. Now let's say you just wanted to hike part of that segment. You want to know roughly how far it is. Um, we'll just go Beaver Dam Road to Park Street here. You can use your measure tool. This measures the distance. Um, it defaults to miles. You can change that if you want. Now this is a little more generalized, but you can just point and click along the trail. Obviously you're not getting all the turns and so on. And when you're done, you can see over here on the right, whoops, I'll double click. And it's close to a mile, so it's probably a little over a mile just because we're not getting the exact line shape there. If you want to know the coordinates of a location, um, there's two ways. One, you can do it within this measure tool. You can click the location button. Let's see, where's this parking area? It gives you the coordinates here. Um, if you're not in the measure tool, if you look here in the lower left, the you have the coordinates that are always on. And if you watch, they change as I move my mouse. If you want to click a specific location, you just click on the left side here and I'm clicking back on that parking lot. And now you see the coordinates are of that parking lot and they don't turn. So if you wanna turn that off, just unclick that and it's back to moving along as your mouse moves. The button on the end here is the share button. So this shares a link to this app and or to the map and it actually shares to what you are looking at now. So, if I want to share here with a friend, I'm going hiking, want to park at Jefferson Street, can just copy this link and send it to a friend. They'll paste it into their web browser. And it takes you right to what we're looking at now. Then finally, the last tool up here is the print tool. It's default so that it prints to a PDF. So you can change the format here if you wanted to print as a different image. Um, and also right now it's portrait. You can change your orientation to landscape too. And when you click print, it's creating a PDF of the screen. And I'll take just a moment. And now that it's done, you see your PDF here. So if you want to print that out, you just click on it. It opens up in a new tab. And here's the map, the title. If for the legend, it just prints um, the items again that are shown on the screen. So if there was water or camping or other items like that shown, that would also appear on the legend. So that's the basic overview of our new interactive map, and I hope that it is helpful in planning your next hike.